What inspired me is other books that I've been reading. Uh, people around me that write books, I also got inspired and chose to write. Girls out there that are not confident to, to come up with any idea and present it, uh, all I have to tell you is that you can do it and uh, get more courage, read more books, write more, ask people around you to help and you'll make it. Rise Education is a social business. Uh, that does uh, a lot of promoting the culture of reading by creating accessibility channels uh, for affordable and quality reading materials or quality educational materials. We do that, we have a bookshop uh, which uh, operates, so we sell all kinds of books. We do a lot of campaigns uh, to promote the reading culture like the one we have just launched. And we also have some events that we have that are kind of permanent. We have a book talk that happens every Thursday uh, from 6.30 to 8, where people come and discuss books, basically. But that is for older people. And we are starting a teen's talk, and we are starting a children's corner. So those are basically the key major things that we do. We also have a kid's magazine, which children write stories. And, uh, Definitely we also publishers. Total, the total participants of the events should be at least one million by the end of September 2018. Mm. Those include children, parents, uh, you know, through the conferences, through the writing competitions, the community writing festivals, through the, uh, the bus, Jitabo uh, bus, through the supermarket uh, creating accessibility channels for the children, uh, for, for books so that when you are in Gorore you don't have to travel to Kigali to come and buy the book you can find them in Gorore yeah uh, actually it's, uh, it's it's really very encouraging one to see our young generation i mean Rwandans these kids uh, just being innovative creating their own stories and prefer to put them on on books. This will change the culture we had before, that if you need to hide something to a Rwandan, put it in mm -hmm. writing, put it in a book. But you can see that the culture is changing if this inspiration is starting right from these kids of primary, where kids come up and feel that she, can, she or he can share his or her ideas to the rest of the world, putting in inspiring stories with an intention of educating the public. It's really amazing. It's something unique for Rwanda, but it's not surprising because uh, this shows that uh, at least we have the hope for the future of our country. We are developing the Ministry of Education Literacy Policy, which is really giving importance this culture of reading. And it will be supported also by the community awareness, where some of these projects are being run with the, the population where religious uh, communities are involved, different uh, district lo uh, local uh, leaders are also part of this. So we hope with this joint effort, the, the, this campaign already and the program itself will survive.